Hey y'all, it's Jemmy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about organizations, how I prep for my school week, how I prep for my days, everything from my macro level to my micro level. I use Google Calendar, Google Sheets, Google Drive, literally everything and that's how I kind of organize everything. Some people have asked me how I utilize my Google Drive and my Google Calendar because I know a lot of people use different apps so I want to show you what I use to stay organized. So let's get into the first part. The first part and the first suggestion that I have is to go through all your classes, get your course outline, your course syllabus, your course agenda or whatever they may call it that has all your due dates and all your assignments. After that, go into your Google Drive. So my drive is pretty organized. I have a folder that's labeled PIT. Within that folder, I have freshman year folder, my sophomore year folder, and my junior year folder. So I'm in my junior year, so I click on that, and then you'll see fall and spring semester. And then I have in each folder labeled. So if you go to psychology and law, you'll see my course outline in my first lecture notes. So I'm going to click on my course outline, and then you'll see the week date, the topic, learning activities, and any due dates that need to be included. So for this week coming up, my topic is legal studies and I need to read pages one through 34. So after that, I'll go to my handy dandy notebook and I'll write that down and you'll see that it says legal studies and then it has my assignment. So I have this label for each and every single class. I like to write down my stuff, but I also I like to have a digital copy. So I go through each entire folder that I have and I write down all my assignments for that week. I label it week two coursework and then I put the Sunday date to the next Sunday date so I know what I need to do from Sunday to Sunday. Also, these are pretty easy to make. If you want to make a new folder, you just go to new, create folder, and you can label it pit if you want or pit band and then press create. And now you have a new folder. And then you can also drop files in here. So if there's a course syllabus that's like a PDF, all you have to do is download it to your computer and then drop your file here. Or you can create a doc and just label it whatever you need. And you can add it to this and it will save in there. After I do that, I like to go in and make a digital copy as well. So these are all my courses. And then I just have these sections labeled assignments, readings, discussion boards, papers, and if I have any exams and everything. And then I'll go ahead and just go ahead and fill all of that out for each and every day. This is more like a day-to-day -day basis. So if I had a class on a Tuesday, I would put the assignment on this Tuesday just to break it down just a little bit more. Then I went in and labeled them so I have them for every single week of the semester as well. This was a template that I made. I'm sure there's plenty online and you can color code it however you want. So the orange means that it meets on Mondays and Wednesdays. The blue means Tuesdays and Thursdays. And the pink mean that they're asynchronous. And again, you know, I just have the date, the month, and everything like that all down there. Okay, so the next thing that I use is my Google Calendar, which I got a couple questions on, so I want to talk about it. I have been using Google Calendar for a long time and it has been so helpful. Google Calendar is super easy to use, super friendly, super customizable and everything like that. So what I normally do, that's how I plan out my day to day, like second to second, hour to hour. I know what class I need to be in, where I need to go for work, what time I need to like go to the grocery store or what time I just have for my free time. So I go in each week and I put in the little things that might change up, but at the beginning of the semester, I put in all my classes and I color coded them. So I'm going to show you how to do that actually right now. So we're going to go to my Google Calendar. So this is my Google Calendar for February, but let's go to January. You can look at it from a day view, a week view, a month view, a year view, and then just your schedule. So I'm going to go to the week view. So now you can see everything I have to do for this week. All of these are color coded. So this is today. I have a COVID test at nine o'clock. I have to take my medicine at nine o'clock. And then today I'm filming, I'm posting my YouTube video and everything like that. So it's already in here. So I'm actually gonna change this up a little bit because I'm only gonna film one video. But I also have basketball practice. So I'm gonna show you how I put in all of my daily day tasks. So I practice at 1.30, so you're just gonna click on it. And I'll put basketball practice. And then I'm going to color code it. I always color code mine down here. 
And then I always put basketball in this tangerine color. So it automatically changes over here. You just press save. And then it's actually till 3.30. So now that's all correct. It's not going to repeat or anything, but the event is saved. So if I want to customize this a little bit more, I go click on basketball practice. And I press this little edit button up here. And then it puts does not repeat or I can make it repeat every Sunday. If I have this basketball practice every Sunday, I can do it monthly on the 4th or you can customize it to however you want. You can also customize the notification. This is what I use that I find is so helpful. So this notification button, you can press notify so it'll notify your phone if you have the app. Or you can press email and it'll send an email. I actually have both set up. You can notify it as early as you want. It could be five minutes early or 30 minutes. I usually keep mine for 30 minutes. That's just a good window for me. Um, and that's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And again, you could go in and do this for whatever you want. So tomorrow I wanna plan a birthday party. I can put birthday party. And I can go ahead and customize it and make it this lovely color right here. And just notify me five minutes before. And I'll go ahead and save that. And this is just super helpful. I'm gonna delete that because it's not an actual real event. But because I can see everything that I kind of need to do. I have all my classes and they're all in here for the rest of the semester. So if I go look at the month view for January and February, it'll be continuous because I set these in here to set up for the rest of the semester. So I'll always have my urban studies class and I'll always have my legal studies class. And then on Sundays, I usually just go in and write down the little things that change up, which is mostly like my basketball practice or my work schedule. I hope that was helpful. I've always used Google Calendar and I really, really like it. And I definitely recommend it to anyone. So definitely check it out. You can make it as customizable as you want, like with your alerts, your colors, how you want to set it up, how long you want to set it up and everything like that. So definitely check it out. Highly recommend also getting the app because it will notify you on your laptop, your phone, your tablet, and I get a uh, message on my Apple Watch. So that's super helpful if you're out and about. The last thing I wanna show you that I use to stay organized in school is my to-do list. My to-do list is my favorite thing in the entire world. So I got this to-do list planner at a Target for literally $3 and some pins. It actually costs more than the entire journal itself. But I highly, highly, highly recommend doing a written to-do list. It keeps you organized, it keeps you accountable, and it just makes you want to do it because I got all these pretty colors and the way I set it up, I really, really love it. So I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so this is just an old to-do list that I have from the 21st so it has the date and I put it in there and then I make these little cute little titles and color coded so this is my to-do list at the very top I always put my daily affirmations this is something I just started you don't have to add this in your planner I just thought of a new year's resolution and this was part of it so I wanted to add it to my to-do list and then down here I have my like hour to hour, what I need to get done and everything like that. So I have my COVID test, my urban studies class. I set up my master list. I set up my notions and everything like that. I had to go get medicine, all this other stuff. And then I make these little check boxes and I make sure that I check them off or scratch them out when I'm all done. So you can set this up however you like. And then up here, I just have my time card. So I work every day. So I have where I work, what I need to do. So I remember to put that in there. So you could do that for like a daily reminder. Maybe it's like take your medicine, drink your water, add that to the top, add your affirmations, and then your overall scheduling list. So this is how mine looks. Sometimes I do like to kind of section it out a little bit more. So I had my schoolwork right here, what I need to do for Pathfinders, which is my job, and then my other to do, like go to the mailroom and stuff like that. But again, it's all pretty much the same. I do color it a lot, which is a lot of fun. Highly recommend doing that. And then again, always having my daily affirmations. And again, sometimes I do like section them off a little bit like that. But you can customize it like however you'd like. Um, make it your own. I recommend a lot of colors, but yeah, these are mine. 
And yeah. I heard a lot of times that when people write down things, they're like 40% more likely to actually get them done. So write them down, write them down, write them down, check them off, keep yourself accountable. I love organizing and finding new tips and tricks to make organizing a lot easier and to make my work really efficient because I am super, super busy with everything I do. And I know a lot of other college students are too. So I hope this video helped. I hope it gave you some ideas to try, something to add to. If you have any ideas, don't forget to drop them down below. I love to read them. I know a lot of YouTubers right now are doing like Notion tours and Notion setups. Mine's not all pretty and set up, but I am trying to utilize that. And if I do and I find that a little bit more effective, I will show you how I use that too in another video. I'm super excited to plan. I feel like planning is so much fun. Um, and now I actually have to go and do all that work. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.